Good morning. Uh, we're going to do this beautiful surf painting. I know you guys love surf paintings. Uh, many of you have asked me to um, show you the sketching, so I added the sketching to this. If you don't want to watch it, just skip ahead and we'll get right into the painting. So I'm sorry I should have uh, gone a little darker here, but basically it's just a, you know, almost a gesture drawing of the rock itself with just indications of where, you know, the different uh, crevices are or the dark areas in the rock, to, just a guide to, to help you as, you as you're painting along. But it's pretty loose, you know, rocks are <clears throat> not something you're not doing portraits, but uh, it's good to watch. Okay, just a, an outline of that rock. That's the big rock on the right. Then there's just this suggestion of where the surf's gonna be. You're not gonna get the exact surf, but you can get the gesture of it. And the, you know, that's what you're looking for, the movement, excitement of that pounding surf against that rock. All right, there's a little horizon out there. A little crooked, but. <laughs> All right, here's a, there's a rock on the right, a couple of big rocks. And they're nice, they keep you in the painting and they and more or less point you to the surf, you know, so they're important. So what you're looking to do is create the facets of the rock. So I'm drawing a little line here to show you the front of that rock versus the side. Then we have another big rock next to that. I'm checking the angle, the negative shape there. Okay. All right, let's get into the painting now. Uh, first thing you do is wet the surf. A lot of water, you know, keep putting water. I'm throwing it at, but just plenty of water right where the surf is. So you're gonna paint down into that, okay? This is ultramarine with cadmium red. And uh, you can put a blob of green in there. I, I use thalo green, but you could put any green. All right, and you're just painting around the surf. Paint down till you hit the water where you, where you where we threw that water, okay. All right, so I'm putting some uh, cobalt blue up in the sky and I, I deliberately did it above so that it would run down into the water and uh, create a very soft horizon line. Gave it a little spray, just let it come down. Now you're gonna take a towel and push, push your surf where you want it to be. So go in there with a nice clean towel and be careful, you don't wanna, you know, you see me touching it, but don't keep going back in with the same towel once it has paint on it, or you'll start painting with your towel and you leave marks on the, on the um, paper. That's very hard to get out. So I'm just putting it in there. Then once you, once you get it to this point, uh, you can pick, pick some up with a brush and just paint in some, you know, clean up your edges, pick up any any puddles. Don't try to do too much with this brush, but just, you know, like I say, just pick up the edges, pick up the puddles, kind of go around and continually work that shape. You have plenty of time, you know, keep a spray on it. Use, you can use a dry towel here, I mean a dry brush. I'm pressing the brush against the towel so it's, it's nice and dry. All right, I'm throwing some, um, I got a little touch of phthalo green and uh, rose, and very light as you can see. It's just a tint, but I'm throwing it on the water where the white, uh, the, the surf of the water comes in. All right, this is cadmium red mixed with ultramarine blue to get that reddish violet for the rock. And essentially all I'm doing here is painting the big shape of that rock up to where it meets the surf. All right, just go back and forth. Uh, I enriched the color a little bit there because I thought it was too, too weak. Just put it in, let it come down. Just see, see that rock, at, big rock as one shape. Don't start dividing the shapes up yet. Let it just paint it as one shape and paint down to where it meets the surf. That's the angle where it meets the surf. 
get the rest of this done. Okay, that's all, just... A little darker right on the bottom, so you have something to work with. All right, so I'm just enriching the color here. This is still just ultramarine with cadmium red, and I'm just sort of indicating uh, the left side of this rock is very dark, I'm not getting any light at all back there. And I'm just, as I say, I'm indicating the, some of the crevices and the, the, there's a rise in the rock there that's creating a deep shadow. It's still pretty wet, so it's, you know, a little, little difficult to work with to keep the sharp edges. So I'm placing it, and as it dries up, I'll go back in with some deeper color and sharpen those edges. But right now, I just want to get it in and get it you know, uh, indicated where those shapes are. I'll define it all as it dries. All right, I'm, I'm wetting the edge there. This is just, I'm using, just using clean water and I'm just wetting that edge. And this is where the rock goes under the surf. So there's a shadow on the surf and you just loosen up that edge basically. And uh, you can see I'm washing out too much of the color. So I'm going in with, uh, some darker color, just pushing it up into that wetness. All right, and then you just take a towel and soften that edge. You don't want any hard edges up there. And as that dries, you'll get a nice soft edge. All right, same colors, ultramarine with cadmium red uh, on these big rocks. Essentially, I'm just painting a silhouette of the rock. And then I'm gonna add, uh, a nice charge of the cadmium red in there. Give that rock some color. All right, same thing over here. They run together, you know, they're really, really one shape over there. All right, the rock has dried up a little bit, so I'm gonna go in with some dry, a drier brush loaded with that same dark color of cadmium red and ultramarine blue, creating the shadow and all the crevices and cracks and crevices on the on the top of the rock. It's all it's all good, you know, you don't have to be you're not doing a portrait of the rock, you're just creating some character up there. Charging that with a little red. There's a lot of reflection in there. All right, I have some, this is the phthalo green, very weak, with just a tiny drop of rose to create this silver gray color, greenish, and, and this is really just, this is part of the surf that's running in and out. You know, look at your photo and really take a look at it and just paint these little shapes this is the separations in, this, in the foam of the surf as it comes in between the rocks. A lot of movement in there. So just study the photo and, and, you know, it doesn't have to be exact, but just, you know, they're very important. Once they're wet, you can go in and drop some color in, in each of them to make it, you know, drop some color on one edge. Make one edge darker than the other. All right. So look at them. You want to give the ind indication that it's flowing. So try to look at it and, and show the show the path of the water flowing. You know. Okay. Little indications here and there. All right. It's all the same color. You can lean it a little bit towards the rose or the green, either way. Make it some darker than others. And... Okay, and right, I'm just throwing some of the uh, phthalo green. Very weak, it's very, very weak. You know how powerful 
uh, thalo green is, so it's all water, just a little indication of the green. All right, the top is dry now, so I'm splashing it, I'm spattering it with my brush just to get some droplets in there, and, and I'm spattering it in the direction that I want the wave to go, okay? So once it's up, once you spatter it, go in with a dry towel and pat it first, then wipe it, okay? And I'm doing it now with some color, so you can do it some, picking up some of that thalo green, that very weak thalo green. And I wanna show you that you can also do it on the rocks themselves and give the rocks, see those little, little dots, you know, give the rocks. It creates a beautiful sense of air and splash and movement, you know. So that's all really good to do. All right. All right, this is just some ultramarine blue. I'm just creating a little shadow. Uh, that looks a little strong, so it's gonna, it's gonna get much lighter as it dries, and I'm just gonna drop a little water in there to weaken it, but it just gives you a nice sense of light. All right, I wanna show you how to use some uh, gouache. You gotta be very careful with gouache. You don't wanna put it on too heavy. So what I'm doing here is first, uh, I'm taking it right out of the tube with a damp brush. So I have water in the brush and I'm placing it where I want. Now I started with that. Now you can see how much whiter that is than the rest of the wave. So we don't want that to show. That's the problem with using gouache. You know, it's fun to use but uh, you, get, you want to use it everywhere. So put it down. Now what I'm basically doing is using that little spot as a palette for the rest of my white. So I'm taking off, I'm uh, rinsed out my brush. I have a, a wet brush there and I'm picking the paint up and putting it in other areas. And by doing that, I'm weakening the uh, initial uh, spot. And when that dries, it'll be much lighter and it you know, it won't give you the indication. Uh, there's nothing wrong with using gouache, but it's a different medium, really, than the watercolor. So you, you know, you can see how it dried there. It, uh, it looks much better. Uh, so the only thing about using it is it's a different medium, and it looks different. And it looks, and it stands out, and it, you know, it's opaque versus, uh, the, you know, transparent watercolor. So you want to make it very weak but you want it strong enough so you can see the, see the splash. So take your time with that, you know, and just keep, you know, keep using it, those initial spots as a palette, and you'll get some beautiful, beautiful effects there. You can, I'm showing you here, you can also use it on the rocks. Uh, I just picked up a little bit of that rock color with the with the white with the gouache and I'm just touching I'm, I'm really just showing you that you can create some reflections there but keep it very light you don't want you don't definitely don't want the opaqueness on those rocks but you can see it creates a little light little surface okay so thank you for joining me I hope you had fun with this please like and subscribe if you haven't appreciate it and I will see you very soon thanks so much